At Colorado Exide, we have three solutions for solar energy. That is on-grid or uh, grid-type solar solutions, off-grid solar solutions, and hybrid solar solutions. The first aspect of it is we evaluate the customer needs. What are the problems that the customer wants to solve? Then we go ahead and do what we call logging. Logging is basically we install uh, data loggers that will be able to give us energy patterns so that by the time we sit on a desk and start designing, we're able to know what their energy needs are in accuracy. So once we are done with that, uh, we will sit down, analyze that data, and we start uh, designing a system for them. Then after that has been done, now we put a costing to it, putting in all the value additions that the customer will have, what's the return on investment, what's the carbon footprint the customer will be saving, by the time we're doing the presentation to the customer, all those aspects have been covered. So after the planning aspect has been done, we come to the installation. As you can see, we had a team of about 20 technical installers who have been allocated different tasks. We start by erecting what we call solar mounting structures. The solar mounting structures are what we'll be holding uh, the modules on the roof. Then next to the mounting structures, we'll install what we call walkways. Walkways are the parts that will be used on installation and post-installation. Once the installation of the walkways has been done, then we'll start installing the modules. And when we're installing the modules, we also do what we call stringing. Stringing is basically you interconnect the panels based on the designs that you have been provided by the design engineer. Then we will now come and start uh, running the cables from the modules to the inverters using the channels that have been agreed with the customer. In this particular case, you'll notice that we have to take the cables to the west wing of the structure and then the cables will move, go underground, go straight to the inverters. Once the power has been brought in in DC format, the inverters now convert that power into AC. Okay? Now that power has to be evacuated from the inverters to the termination point where the client wants to meter uh, the energy produced. So we'll need to install what we call um, energy meters. And an energy meter will ensure two things. One, it will monitor how much energy is produced. Then secondly, it will ensure that any time you have excess power produced, it is not fed into the grid. But we also had to put in an online monitoring system whereby the customer have been trained on how to pull out reports. At any one time, they're able to know how much energy is being generated, how much energy has been produced, how much carbon are they saving. So it becomes very important to the customer because they're monitoring themselves. It's a very important aspect of the um, solution that we also pass to the customer. So ultimately, providing maximum power value to our customers is our top priority.